Hey everybody, it's Kara, and today I am bringing to you one of my favorite facials. So I also have a DIY um, oil blend that I love that I brought to you, and I'm going to do an updated version of that. Some of you had asked for precise measurements. I kind of just, you know, six drops of this, whatever, um, splash of that, and so you had asked for a more specific recipe. So I am going to redo that and bring that to you, but for today I am about to do a facial and this is a homemade mask and it is full of um, all kinds of delicious <laughs> you're gonna think you're making like a you know five-star restaurant dish to eat a five-star restaurant dish for your face full of delicious ingredients that are healthy and loaded with antioxidants anti-aging um, properties and uh, anti-inflammatory, antibacterial, uh, vitamin E. Uh, we just have so much in this in this little souffle. I do love face masks and moisturizers and things like that. Um, I just am drawn to do this once in a while for my face too because first of all it's homemade. I know exactly what's in it. I know what I'm getting and it feels wonderful and it is super nutritious for your skin. So it's just another fun thing to try, and um, you only want to make one batch at a time. It does have avocado in it. You don't want it to turn brown and, you know, be using it at, after that point. So you want to make just enough for, for a day, um, maybe two days at the most, but you'd have to use it pretty quickly. No, I take that back. Just make enough for just one day and uh, so that you can put it on fresh. I'm going to take you over here next to me to my um, to my smorgasbord of ingredients and we'll get started on creating this delicious DIY super scrumptious facial souffle. Alright here we are with all of my ingredients that we will be pulling together. You will need a grater, a fork for smashing your avocado, and mixing everything together. Oh, I do need to go grab my wooden spoon. I did forget that. I have a knife because I'm using my pure raw honey and it has begun to um, kind of crystallize a little bit, which lets me know I really need to use it quickly. Um, I did bring a backup honey over here, which is my local from a local um, honey maker bee. I forgot what that's called. I'll have to look it up when you when you harvest bees and produce honey. Uh, so I have ginger, I have cinnamon, which is a, a great um, stimulus for the blood, bringing blood to the surface of the skin and improving circulation. So cinnamon is one of the best spices for a glowing skincare treatment. I have my turmeric, curcumin, curcuma. And that is premium ground superior. I do try to buy all of these organic too. Here is my turmeric and that is premium ground curcumin. Um, that is curcumin is something that is curcumin is an element or an herb that helps to fight bacteria and so I just like the fact that it's included in this. It's just an extra little boost of power. I like the idea of putting that on my skin. Uh, and then I have my cumin, not to be confused with curcumin, which is the turmeric, but this is organic ground cumin. And cumin is known for helping to aid in the prevention of premature aging. And it's nourished with vitamin E. It has a bunch of natural antioxidants that um, if you have listened to any of my other videos about skincare, when I get into it very deeply, um, you know, free radicals and damage, which could lead to premature skin aging. So I like to include that one as well. And then behind my poor little cute honey here, I have some ground nutmeg, which is just your basic ground nutmeg. I do have a better one in my cabinet. It was so far back I couldn't find it and I thought it may have been expired so I'm going to use this one. I picked this one up on my way home the other day. Nutmeg is known to help 
uh, with inflammation or irritation in the skin. It also promotes hydration and, you know, contributes to a smooth skin appearance. It is known for its characteristics in helping with dry skin because it's very, very moisturizing and does help to aid exfoliation. So nutmeg is a core ingredient in my facial souffle. Um, I would love to use a real nutmeg nut and just scrape it, but I don't have one and I didn't have time to go and get one. Same thing with the ginger. I am going to use this today. This is pure ginger and it's it's pre-minced. I picked that up at BJ's um, because it's handier for this, but I prefer to use the pure ginger and just again use my fine grater here. I would use it on this side along with the nutmeg just to get that really fine texture. Okay, so in here I have my extra virgin olive oil. This is my avocado. And here is my organic cucumber. Back with my whisk. To whisk all these things together, I did pre-cut my avocado. Which is right here. Okay, so here I have my pre-cut avocado, which kind of got a little smashed prior to me cutting it. And I am now going to put that into my bowl of avocado. Now I'm going to grate some of the organic cucumber right into on top of that with a about a teaspoon of the ginger. Remember, I'm only making enough for today. And then I will add in about a half a teaspoon of the cinnamon. Okay, so I figured out the problem with my camera was that it got moisture inside the lens because it is so muggy and humid right now. <laughs> so I went ahead and made all of my ingredients before I took apart my camera and very precariously wiped down the lens. So what I have here in my bowl, in case you guys didn't get to see it, because I can't tell at what point it, right now that it went out of focus or became smudged, but this is my olive oil, extra virgin olive oil, ginger. Again, I like to use the whole roots of everything, such as the turmeric, the nutmeg, and the ginger root if if you can stop by your grocery store i wanted to present it to you this way because it's a lot easier these are things you can pick up and use over and over again and not worry about them going bad or not having them on hand when you feel so inclined to make this lovely luscious souffle for your face so again there's my honey and my wooden spoon my whisk my fork and my knife and of course a towel i did have a bowl up on the towel I used about an inch of the uh, cucumber, organic cucumber, which I used the grater to mince it up really nicely. Actually, I'm sorry. So I used a quarter of an avocado for my base. To that, I added a teaspoon of the honey, a teaspoon of olive oil, the olive oil, about three quarters of a teaspoon of cinnamon, then I went over to my, right in a row I did it. So my turmeric is here. I used about a quarter to a half of all of the rest of the spices. So I used about a half a teaspoon of the turmeric, a quarter teaspoon of the cumin, and a quarter teaspoon of the nutmeg. So here is my souffle and I'm now going to blend it and show you exactly what that looks like. I'm gonna mash down your avocado really well. Ooh, it's so creamy and buttery already. Yum. Smells divine. Now this is definitely a souffle that you're gonna wanna put on your face when no one's around. Oh my gosh, I have the funniest story. So I put on one of my pre-made masks, um, you know, a, a product mask. And so it's, you know, it's the white sheets with your eyes cut out and <laughs> your nose and your mouth cut out. And my daughter was going home and I had that on and I didn't, you know, you have those things on for like a half an hour. So I forgot all about it. And so she all of a sudden came walking through the door and I was going to greet her at the door because she was carrying things in. And she jumped and screamed at the top of her lungs because when she opened up the door, there I was with my creepy 
facial mask on <laughs> looking like Jason but okay so now I'm just going to use my whisk I just like to really kind of get it nice and blended as well as I can okay all right so I am going to slather it on my face all right I threw my hair up to keep it away from my souffle and this is where your towel is really going to come in handy because you may be dropping flex you know chunks of it may fall off your face so okay let's make sure my hair is up and out of the way really well put on a junky shirt too you don't want any of this oil or anything getting on your shirt so i just have on a plain men's t-shirt that i wear for sleeping okay so the hair is not the finest but let's get to the point I already cleansed it, so I just wiped it down again prior to this with um, a, with a cotton round and my Thayer's. Okay, I'm ready to put my souffle all over my face. I'm excited. I love this. I will put. I will expound on the fact that these are stronger ingredients um, with this combination of spices on your skin, and it's still moisturizing. It just has that heat, and that's I think from the combination. So. Uh, as I was describing in that little segment there, that you do not need to use all of these ingredients combined together. I happen to like it. Try it on your own skin, on a sensitive, more softer part of maybe your arm, or maybe a little part of your neck, or a little, you know, just give yourself a, a patch test. And cut back on the amounts. Now, um, I did put a lot of cinnamon in this time. Oh my gosh, it's so hot. Whew. Just going to gook it all up. Put it everywhere. Don't be shy with it. You're going to look horrible. But who said beauty is glamorous? Oops, there goes that chunk. So, oh, I forgot to mention your nap, your towel is going to be your best friend right now during this because it's going to fall everywhere. Make sure you have a pretty shirt on and uh, keep your napkin across your lap because chunks will be falling. So I just scoop it out. No need to be dainty, just. And again, uh, I leave this on for about three, four minutes. Not too, too long. Ugh. <laughs> and I carry it down along my neck, too, just because it has all of those great nourishing ingredients in it with the anti-aging and the um, moisture of the olive oil and avocado. Just looking like a green gobbed up cookie mess. Don't answer your door if someone comes in. Okay, so now I look like I'm wearing relish. Don't go too close to your eyes because you do have the spices in here. There we go. I love putting this stuff on my face. It smells so heavenly. Normally I don't even bother to put my glasses on, but I'm way over here in another room and I have to walk across to rinse. Now the way, what you want to do with this is after two, three minutes, you're just going to rinse it off and then I also use a facial wipe because there's residue left. There is so much anti-aging, anti-inflammatory, antibacterial, anti... I missed one. Anti-aging, antibacterial, anti-inflammatory, antiseptic. All of those properties, I love having that on my skin, plus just the oils from the avocado and the um, extra virgin olive oil and the honey, um, which again, if you have issues with bees, don't put honey in, just do avocado and olive oil and maybe try cinnamon or the nutmeg or something like that. Um, basically, this is just a really good soup. And you can, of course, tailor it to your own personal skin needs. Okay, I will be back in just a moment. Okay, so if you have sensitive skin, as the spices that I have here for my spice souffle, facial souffle, can be strong on a skin, um, and you, you may want to just start with trying this. This is very mild and very sumptuous on the skin. Maybe I'll save this one for tomorrow, but you want to mash it. So this is my uh, about an inch chunk of avocado with a teaspoon of honey, about three quarters of a teaspoon of extra virgin olive oil, and 
about an inch, well, no, about a half an inch thick chunk of cucumber, organic cucumber. So then I'm just going to mash this all up. Now, the reason why I say you could start with this and then possibly go along to the spices and try one spice at a time. Uh, you don't have to do them all at once, and you can do them in lower rations or lower ratios than what I have here on the video. This, I will tell you that the, the souffle, the facial that I mix up and put on my face for demo um, is strong. You also don't need to leave it on very long. Leave it on maybe two, three minutes. Um, so there's a lot of different things that you can do to play around. I just wanted to give you the foundation of the great ingredients, the antioxidants, the antiseptics, antibacterial, anti-inflammatory, anti-aging properties that all of these things combined bring to your skin. Um, but they also are super potent one-on-one. -on -one. My point is that if you have sensitive skin and you are prone to having a stronger reaction to different types of ingredients, do a test on your arm. I always tell everybody do a patch test um, and then try either, you know, much lesser amounts like maybe a quarter teaspoon ginger, quarter teaspoon cinnamon, eighth of um, a teaspoon of the turmeric or, you know, eighth of an inch, I'm sorry, did I say eighth of an inch? <laughs> eighth of a teaspoon in the cumin and the nutmeg. Play around, test it out on your arm. Uh, if you get a red irritation spot and you don't like it, that's fine, don't use it. You can use this uh, recipe right here and this will give you moisturized, nourished, glowing skin as well. So you're not losing anything, this just has added benefits. Um, but this right here alone is Super nutritious for your skin, super soothing. Okay, I'm all washed and cleansed. I did it, it with cold water, cool water, in the kitchen sink so that I can put all of that gook. You don't want that going in your bathroom sink. So I rinsed in, in the kitchen sink and then I took a, um, a facial wipe and washed off the rest of the residue, which there was quite a bit. Now, right now, my skin feels amazing. Um, it is moisturized, very hydrated. It's a little tacky, uh, dewy, I guess. It has a dewy texture, uh, sorry, a dewy appearance, and it feels so smooth. Oh my gosh, that stuff is great. So again, another really comforting avocado in my ears. So just a really nice, heavy, thick meal for your face. So I enjoy it very much. Now I don't have any I have no redness or anything um, showing up. Feels so luxurious and creamy and mm. I have my second variation of the souffle, which is uh, which is only the avocado, olive oil, and honey. Oh, and cucumber. Sorry, uh, minus any of the spices. So if I'm looking for just a really good saturated, hydrating facial, I will put this souffle on instead. And this, again, they both are super hydrating, super nourishing, but the one with the, the, one with the spices just has a lot more benefits that your skin may acquire from those ingredients. This, however, oh, it's sliding all around. <laughs> but this, this is an amazing mask to put on. Well, have a great day, and I will see you next time. I'm excited to do my next video. I can't wait. So I hope you stay with me. Please subscribe. Thank you for sharing your time with me. Please share my channel if you think you know anybody that would be interested um, or could relate to the topics that I'd like to bring to you. Either way, have a fantastic day, and I will see you soon.